Hi guys, how are you doing? This is Vivian Accenture and welcome to my, I guess, third video about my ultimate editing and gaming setup. So, I didn't really plan on doing this video, but um, I just rearranged my desk setup because I have some new plans that I'll also share with you guys over the course of this video. And so I actually ended up liking my new temporary setup, so I thought, why not share it? Because the just desk setup in general always get a lot of views and just because they seem to be very popular and also one of the favorite videos that I like to watch. So I guess I'll just share this with you guys. Um, I would already want to warn you because this video will probably end up being rather long because I felt like I rushed through the past um, desk tours and because I just didn't mention a lot of stuff. So I hope that I can make a complete video this time. So grab yourself, I don't know, a Coke or a cup of tea or something and just enjoy this video. I certainly hope you do. So let's get started. So to start off simple, we we'll start with the couch right here where I just sat down and then we we'll see a new Canon backpack that I just got for I believe like 6 or 7 euros so that was an absolute bargain and so just chilling here waiting for me to take it outside and then next we'll find right here my USA flag, no I'm not American but I just love the US so that's why it's there and that was actually a gift that I received when I was in the States. Then next up we we'll see a really nice customized Tech Century MacBook Pro 15 inch sleeve from Caseable. Big shout out to the guys. There will be a review coming up shortly about this. And we also see the last remains of my 5.1 surround setup because there was actually something that I decided to, well, tear apart, I guess. And so I just forgot to remove those two speakers and they'll be gone pretty soon. Then next up, I don't even know what I should say about this. This is, I don't know, from Carnival. <laughs> Uh, besides that, we'll see some stuff from my graduation in the United States and also my graduation ring right there and my very first camcorder, which was also a Panasonic, which even recorded on mini DVD. So a pain in the ass to get the files off there, but still a very nice camcorder, 3.1 megapixel, which is absolutely insane. Then we have some iPhone boxes right here. So I believe original iPhone, what is it, 8 gigabyte, iPhone 4S, iPhone 5, iPhone 3GS and my Optica GLD200 camera slider. Then, the most exciting part, a pen. Also my Festina watch that was a gift from my brother, which is, I believe, a limited edition from the Tour de France. Then we have my La C Porsche design, two terabyte external hard drive right there. As you see, not really hooked up to anything. It's just a backup drive and I don't really know where I should put it. Then in front of that, we have some furniture from Ikea and I guess the white balance is a little bit off. <laughs> so here we have the furniture itself. So this is an Ikea element and I believe this is supposed to be something where you put your printer on but I just have my MacBook Pro on here. So this is the 15 inch MacBook Pro, not Retina MacBook Pro but has an Intel Core i7 quad core at 2.2 gigahertz and also 16 gigabytes of RAM that were provided by Kingston. So thanks again for this. And besides that, just a pretty nice machine. I still have to do like an SSD upgrade, but besides that, it's pretty nice. Then moving on, we have right here my gaming setup. So this is an Ifinity setup, both 1080p screens. Those are the HP 23XIs. You'll also find review on my channel as well as an unboxing. Excellent monitors, IPS, so you see the viewing angles are absolutely insane. Doesn't really show too good on camera right now because the background is too bright. But overall just excellent. I just wish they were a little bit brighter from the backlight. It isn't the best when it comes to brightness. But actually it isn't as bad as it looks here on video. But besides that just excellent monitors also for gaming and of course also for video editing and everything. That really needs to be color accurate. And then we have some IKEA LED lighting right there. I'm a big fan of lighting. I don't know why. Then we also have my Xbox controller from the Halo Reach limited edition Xbox 360 right there as well as my Repu keyboard that you probably saw the unboxing of. And this keyboard is okay, it doesn't perform that excellent. Then for the mouse we have right here the Rocket Kova Plus on the left side. And I'm actually about to return this. I have to review it first, but then I'm going to return it because it's not that great to be honest. And a really cheap gaming mouse from Amazon that I'll use in the meanwhile. Then this is also a small desk from Ikea. I tried to come up with the name in the description. I'm honestly not sure what it's called. 
Then, next up, what do we have here? Well, this is my limited edition Halo Reach Xbox 360, which I just absolutely love. I think the design is pretty excellent. And besides that, I have quite a few Xbox games and so certainly good also for gaming. And then besides that, we'll have a super old Epson print that I hope to replace very soon with something from Canon, probably. And then we have right here my iPad 4 um, with some tweets and a desk tour, I believe, showing up. And there's just the iPad 4, 32 gigabytes with 4G LTE. And then besides that, oh, I should probably go below the desk first because that's where my gaming PC is. Oh, and you see the cabling. Oh my God, sorry. So usually my wiring is rather good, as you see right there, you can't really see anything. But there the cable management is still lacking a lot, so I certainly have to work on that. On video it looks even worse. So this is my gaming PC. This is a Zaman Z11 Plus case with USB 3.0. It also has this side window that you see right there. I try to zoom in a little bit. And so the components that this gaming PC has is an Intel Core i3 processor. Then also 4GB of RAM, an HD7850 graphics card from uh, VDX3D. And now you're like, well, you don't have an i7, that's not a gaming PC. So, no, it doesn't matter what processor you have, an i3 is really fast enough for such a graphics card. If you're getting something like an HD7970, yes, then you should need an i5 processor. But just for gaming, 4 gigs of RAM are totally fine. Also, the processor is fine and the graphics card really does anything that I have to do absolutely excellently. I can't complain at all. So, for example, Dirt 3 runs at like 60 or 70 frames. So, that's all I'm asking for. I don't really need anything else. I'm not really want to play Crisis 3 at Ultra or something. So, that's out of the way. <laughs> Next up, we'll take a look at my main desk. So, this is a desk by a company that's from Germany called Asman. So actually just below the last video, somebody said, well, that sounds like ass man. Uh, yeah, and that's also how the company is written. So ass and man. But besides that, this is a really nice desk. What I really like most about it is how, well, I'd say deep it is. So from here, the beginning of the desk to the back, it's 80 centimeters. And then if we come across here, it's actually one meter. So this really gives me a lot of space to do unboxings, reviews and everything. I can just put my uh, regular wireless keyboard from Apple to the side, the Magic Mouse to the side, and then I just have a lot of space for videos, which is absolutely excellent and just something that I wanted for a long time. And so this desk is, as I mentioned, from this company, and this is a company that manufactures here in Germany and also basically just does this furniture for offices and companies. So this usually retails for around 1,000 euro. And I was very fortunate to pick this up from private seller on eBay local listings for, uh, what was it? I believe like 150 or 200 bucks. So this is an absolutely amazing desk. As you also see, there's cable management built in. So right there, the cable management actually looks pretty nice. You basically don't see any cables. And believe me, there are tons and tons of cables. Then here we have my 27 inch iMac. No, this is still the fat version, not the 2012. And this is an Intel Core i7 at 2.93 gigahertz, 12 gigs of RAM. And it really is my main workhorse. It does everything that I need to and is pretty amazing. The only thing that I would like is to upgrade it to an SSD. But, well, that's pretty difficult because you have to remove the screen and everything and it's basically not really worth the money for it. So, so far I'm really happy with this machine. Of course a new iMac would be nice. But one that I'm interested in probably retails for like 3,500 US, which is just too much, especially since this iMac still does the job very good. Then next to it, we have my Samsung Studio Dog speakers right here. And those are the three eyes. So they have a three inch driver down here and the, I want to leave like a quarter inch tweeter up top. And I never really stressed those speakers, but they are actually one of the best speakers I've ever heard. They are absolutely amazing. I think I picked them up on eBay for 99 euros a couple of months back. And I have to say, these little speakers, I mean, they're really not big. They put my 5.1 surround system with AV receiver and everything completely to shame. And that's why I decided to just keep them and remove my surround system because 
The sound that comes out of those is just absolutely incredible. I can't really stress it highly enough. If you're looking for something that's around 99 bucks, then look for those speakers. They're absolutely excellent. I mean, it kind of sucks that it only has like the 30 pin or connector on top, so you can't really use it with your iPhone 5. But besides that, I just can't stress it highly enough how good they are. Now, besides that, this is also the part where my desk setup changes because you are probably asking, well, why does he put like those two screens on there? Usually they were left and right of the iMac, but that's also where my new plans come in. So first, as much as I love those speakers, they'll probably be going to this setup right here to the gaming setup because I actually ordered the big brothers of those. So I ordered the Samsung Resolve A6, I believe they are called, and they are basically studio monitors that are probably like twice as big so like each of those speakers will weigh eight kilograms so almost like 15 pounds which is absolutely insane and they will have a fantastic sound i had an amazing deal on them and i just couldn't resist and they will be both active and so they will be close range studio monitors and i'm just waiting for those i think they should arrive tomorrow or the day after and so this will be the first addition to my setup I can't really say how excited I am. I'm just completely blown away. And so that's really what I'm looking forward to. Besides that, also this big white space that you see right here probably won't stay the same because I'm looking into maybe buying at least one or maybe even two 27 inch monitors that will go to the left and right of the iMac. And then you see my ISO monitor right there, which is my old one. And this is just basically there so that I don't have to look at the Thing that's standing there right beside it and so that will probably be the final setup for a while then when i have my new studio speakers from samsung the resolve a6 and then two 27 inch which should really match the imac very well on monitor arms and so yes that's what i'm looking forward to you can certainly let me know what you think of the idea down in the comment section or if you maybe think i should just leave it that way with the new speakers because Honestly, this also looks kind of nice and it's not really that distracting if I have the monitors on the left side. <sighs> so that was a lot of talking. So on top of that, we see my Samsung 40 inch UE 40 D 5700 TV. You'll also see my reflection probably in there. And this is an LED TV. Honestly, it's hanging pretty high because of the iMac. And if you're sitting down on your chair, you can barely use it because you always have to, I don't know, look up and just, annoying and so i basically just use that for videos in the background or something uh, but besides that it's pretty good tv and i assume this wraps up the biggest part of the desk tour i'm certainly excited to hear what you guys think of the new setup ideas or what you think of this setup now one thing that i still want to show is that we have here my 600d which is one of the cameras that i use so this is the 600d as i mentioned or also called here 3i I believe in the US so this is a DSLR which I use for some of my videos and for other videos like this one I use my Panasonic SD909 camcorder which is absolutely amazing and so yes I'm just really looking forward to hearing your feedback on the new temporary setup I'll certainly make sure to share my new videos with you guys for the new studio monitor speakers as well as for the new monitors if I should decide to buy one well, I would probably buy one of the 27 inch monitors with like a chance of 90%, probably even in the next seven days. But I'm not sure if I'll buy two because they're quite expensive and I'm not sure how much sense it makes to have like six screens. I mean, those two, then two there and two there. So six is a lot, but it would look absolutely amazing. So again, just let me know what you think in the comment section below. This really wasn't an expected video. I just thought this would be nice to share. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching. If you're not already, please make sure to subscribe and also hit the thumbs up for this video. Thanks again. Follow me on Twitter at TechCentury for exclusive updates for the setup and other videos. So thanks again. See you next time.